Hello and welcome back. In this video we're continuing our discussion of E2 reactions and what we'll notice is that sometimes there's more than one beta hydrogen available. So if there is more than one beta hydrogen available, in other words the alpha carbon has the leaving group attached, in this case the bromine, and the beta carbon has on the right here two hydrogens and on the left we have two beta carbons with three hydrogens each. Okay, so it actually doesn't matter which of those six hydrogens we pull off, we'll get the same product for the left. So let's, for that uh, beta hydrogen on the left, so let's remember the mechanism here for the E2 reaction. The alkoxide pulls off a hydrogen, forms the double bond from the two electrons that were in that bond to the hydrogen, kicks out the leaving group, and so if we pulled off one of those six hydrogens, we would get this product on the right, which is the more substituted product, and this is called the Hoffman product, I'm sorry, the less substituted product. The less substituted product is called the Hoffman product. In this case, this Hoffman product is disubstituted, okay? Now, if we, let's just erase all of this so it can be clear. If instead our base pulls off one of these two beta hydrogens on the right, so we pull off a hydrogen, form the double bond, kick out the leaving group, then we're going to get this left product, that's the Zaitsev product, and it's called the Zaitsev product, it's more substituted. So the alkene has three uh, R groups in this case, so this is a tri-substituted, tri-substituted, all right, and the one on the right is di-substituted because the alkene has two R groups attached. All right, so we have two possibilities here. The Zaitsev product on the left, which is more the more substituted product, and the Hoffman product on the right, which is the less substituted product. The Zaitsev product is generally the major product because you'll remember more substituted alkenes are more stable. The Hoffman product is going to be usually the minor product because the less substituted alkene is less stable. And that's true even in this case with sodium methoxide, even though we have six hydrogens that are possible to be pulled off at this beta carbon, at these beta carbons, versus two hydrogens at on the right beta carbon, statistically you would think that the Hoffman product would be more likely because it results from those one of those six hydrogens being pulled off, whereas the Zaitsev product results from one of those two hydrogens being pulled off. You can see here that we have a 71 to 29 percent product distribution with the Zaitsev being the major product because that stability is really going to affect how our product distribution lies. Okay, so this is called regioselectivity. So E2 elimination is regioselective. If we can form a Zaitsev product over a Hoffman product preferentially, then the Zaitsev product will form. Okay, but we can control the formation of the product by using different types of bases. So for a small base like ethoxide or even hydroxide, we're going to see the Zaitsev product being the major product. And we can see here for uh, this, this starting material, we have for ethoxide, we have a 71% Zaitsev, 29% Hoffman. But if we use a bigger base like T-butoxide, potassium T-butoxide, we get 28% Zaitsev and 72% Hoffman. If we even get a larger base like this, this one here, we get only 8% Zaitsev and 92% Hoffman. And that's because the larger base has more trouble reaching these harder to get to hydrogens at this beta position versus these hydrogens on the outside at the left beta positions. So those hydrogens are easier to access and therefore when we have a big bulky base or what's called a sterically hindered base, then we will form the Hoffman product preferentially and we can even 
uh, increase that product distribution to 92% by using something really large, a really big bulky base. So there's other types of sterically hindered bases, and these are also called non-nucleophilic bases because they don't act as nucleophiles. They don't, they aren't able to access that alpha carbon to perform an SN2 reaction. But they're great at acting as bases, and these are non-nucleophilic sterically hindered bases that can preferentially um, increase our product ratio of Hoffman to Zaitsev products. So here we have TB toxide. That's the most common one we're going to see to get our, um, our Hoffman product preferentially versus the Zaitsev. Diisopropyl amine is another one. We have these two big isopropyl groups here that are going to um, block this base and make it more sterically hindered. And here we have triethylamine. That's another sterically hindered base that can give us the Hoffman versus Zaitsev preferentially. Notice these bases on the right are not even negatively charged, but that, nitro that lone pair on the nitrogen will be a good enough base to allow these amines to act as bases. All right, so let's predict the major and minor products for the following E2 reactions. So for the top one, we have sodium ethoxide, which is a small base. Remember, ethoxide and hydroxide are small bases. So we have to consider, uh, here's our alpha carbon and our beta hydrogens are on the beta carbons. We have a beta carbon here and a beta carbon here with two hydrogens. Uh, so a beta carbon on the left with three hydrogens, a beta carbon on the right with two hydrogens. So if we pull off one of those left beta hydrogens, then we're going to form this product. If we pull off one of those right beta hydrogens, then we're going to get this product. Okay, so remember the mechanism here. The base pulls off a hydrogen, forms the double bond, kicks out the leaving group. Okay, so our product distribution is Hoffman on the left and Zaitsev on the right, okay? So the right one is a tri-substituted. The left one is di-substituted because see we've got these two R groups here for the left and two hydrogens. On the right we've got three R groups and only one hydrogen, right? Okay. That's supposed to be a double bond, not a triple bond, so I probably need to redraw that. Okay, so uh, the Zaitsev for a small base is going to be the major product, and the Hoffman is going to be a minor product for a small base. Now for the next example, we have two different bases, sodium hydroxide at the top, T-butoxide at the bottom, so that's only going to affect our product distribution. It's not going to change the type of, of products that we'll get. So for this molecule, we've got three hydrogens here, three hydrogens here, so we've got six hydrogens at that type of beta position. Okay, those will give us equivalent products versus two hydrogens here. Okay, so we've got a small base, so we're going to have this possibility versus this possibility. Okay, um, and this is going to be Hoffman versus Zaitsev. So for a small base, Zaitsev is going to be major, Hoffman's going to be minor, but when we have that same substrate with this big bulky base, T-butoxide, which is this thing right here, we're going to have Hoffman being major, so they're the same products, but Hoffman is major, Zaitsev is minor. So let's predict the major and minor products for the following E2 reactions. Okay. So we already did this one at the top. Uh, we did that one already, and then we did these two here. Those were our examples. So when we have um, B, if we use T-butoxide, that's just going to give us the Hoffman product being... Oh no, we didn't do this exact one, did we? Our Hoffman product is going to be our major product. This is the Hoffman and the Zaitsev is going to be our minor product, which is this one. Okay, so remember, we're pulling off 
two, three hydrogens. We have three hydrogens here. We're pulling off one of these hydrogens and the chlorine versus one of these two hydrogens and the chlorine. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side you go from. You could, you know, you could have put the double bond on this side either way. Wouldn't have mattered. It would have given you the same product because these are uh, symmetrical. <clears throat> Alright, and so now for the last example, we've got E and F. So, we can pull off this, this beta position. All of these six hydrogens are equivalent at that beta position, okay? So it doesn't matter which one we pull off, we're going to get this product where we form a double bond between the alpha and beta carbons. And in fact, it doesn't matter whether we use a small base or a big bulky base, we're going to get the only, this only product here. So hydroxide or T-butoxide doesn't matter. That's the only product we can form. Okay, and so that is all we wanted to talk about with um, Hoffman versus Zaitsev product. I'll, products. I'll see you in the next video.